Hi, my name is Susan Magnano, and I'm a travel photographer that loves to create in the dark. Typically, you can find me photographing starry landscapes out west or creating beautiful light painting portraits in the city. So today, I have five light painting tips for you. Let's get started. Light painting is the art of creating with a long exposure and using a light source to paint your subject. There are a couple different techniques you can do here. One is where you don't show your light source. A lot of photographers use this when they're doing astrophotography and they want to light up their foreground. So they'll kind of go from behind the camera, they could even go left or right, or even from behind where they light up their foreground in a way where you don't see the light source. Another technique is where you actually want to see the light source and you're doing really creative things. So people use light tubes, they use um, sparklers, they use Brillo pads and light them on fire. Basically, this is when you make your light designs the star of your photo. Lastly, there's a type of light painting called kinetic light painting, where you're not actually moving any lights, but you're moving your camera. And you can do some really interesting things by zooming in and zooming out your lens during the exposure or panning left or right, or even just shaking your camera. All right, guys, let's get started with the tips. Tip number one, bring the right gear. First, you need a camera. Yes, you could use your smartphone and put it in night mode or use apps like Slow Shutter Cam, but I highly recommend using DSLRs or mirrorless cameras. On them, I recommend using a wide angle lens, and of course, you'll need a sturdy tripod. I also recommend having a remote trigger It'll save you from running back and forth, but you can also use a uh, delayed shutter speed, like a 10 or two second delay and trigger it and then run and do your light painting as well. Lastly, you'll need a great light source and we'll get into that a little bit later. Tip number two, understand your camera settings. First of all, let's put the camera in manual mode. Then we're gonna talk about how shutter speed, aperture and ISO all affect your shot. Let's break it down. Shutter speed is the amount of time that the camera sensor is exposed to light by the shutter opening and closing. So shutter speed controls the ambient light of the photo. Aperture is the hole at which the light comes through. So it controls the flow of the light. So aperture controls the artificial light. So if you have a flashlight and your flashlight is too bright, you can close your aperture and the flashlight light in your shot will be dimmer. ISO is the overall sensitivity of the sensor. So I don't have any perfect settings for you guys to use, but I recommend starting with the lower ISO and experimenting with shutter speeds and aperture to get the perfect shot. Tip number three, scout your location during the daytime. This is super helpful for creating composition and for also finding objects to light paint. It also is really helpful to see what the terrain is like so that you don't trip. If you're in a city environment, and you have a location picked out, make sure there's no street lights or any artificial light that might ruin your shot that are on constantly. And if you're in the wilderness, check and use apps like Sun Surveyor or PhotoPills to see where the moon might rise because that may also interrupt your scene. Tip number four, try out different light sources. Flashlights, video lights, strobes, each one do different things in your light paintings and I want you to see their effects. I use flashlights a lot with light modifiers like light painting tubes and light panels and also light blades. I use strobes a lot when I'm trying to freeze my model. I also use video lights when I have static subjects like arches or abandoned cars. I challenge you to grab some light sources and see their effects. Tip number five. Bring your friends. Light painting with friends is so much fun. Not only can they model for you, which is awesome, but they can also share in the creativity and experiment together and learn about photography. So that sums up my five tips for today, but I wanna invite you to come join me on a light painting photo adventure. For more information, go to photoadventures.com or follow me on Instagram at Susan underscore Magnano. I would love to see what you create. I hope we cross paths somewhere in the dark and be safe out there.